Cal, a, a new contract. How pleased are you to have signed the deal for uh, you know a few years? Yeah, I'm over the moon. Um, when the gaffer first put it towards us that the club were going to offer a new contract, uh, I thought it was a no-brainer straight away to get the deal done. Why did it matter to you to sign a, a longer-term thing? Um, I think it shows that I'm committed, um, that I want to be here, I want to play for the club, uh, I want to get the club forward and get the club back in the Football League. Yeah, what's it done for you then this, this year? A little step up from, from Blythe, of course. So what's it done for you on a personal note this year at Knotts? Um, I think it's put my name out there more, um, doing some good performances and scoring goals and creating goals is only going to get you some headlines um, and I think you need a bit of luck and you need some headlines in football sometimes. Yeah, did it take you time, much time at all to, to settle in? I know that obviously by the end of last season you were <laughs> banging in a, a goal a game, did you find the step up much of a step up or was it a fairly easy transition? Uh, I think every level you go there's always going to be a step up. but. I was coming off the back of a lot of confidence from Blythe um, and I know that if I just kept playing my game that the goals and the assists would come and uh, luckily they did. And it seems like you're given the freedom to do what you clearly like to do and are, and are so good at doing. Is that is that a fair assessment for the way Neil Ardley deals with you as a player? Yeah, of course. The gaffers give us all the confidence in the world. Um, he makes you feel like you're the best player at the club um, and that can only help us on the pitch and as the performance has showed last season, hopefully it can keep happening. And what about that little run at, at the end of last season? Um, and, you know, it, to be fair, it's continued, but it's just been stuttery because of the, the nature of COVID and, and everything else, really. But that, that run of, of scoring each, each game, what, what was that like for you as a player? It seemed like every time you got the ball, you, you felt like you were going to score. Yeah, it goes back to the confidence thing. I had a lot of confidence last season and every time I got the ball I felt like I could affect the game and score a goal or create a goal. Um, and luckily it was going my way and most of the shots that I had were going in. What's the next stage for you then? Because I, I, I watch you play and I think, well, you can score from distance, you can set goals up, you're happy to take players on, you can do that, you've got that close control. What, what are you working on to, to do next? Um, just be consistent. I want to do that every week. Um, obviously, we're kind of helping at the minute with the situation, what what the world's in with the COVID and stuff. But we just want to put a run of games together and hopefully, we can, as a team and myself, get the confidence back um, and start putting the performances again. It must have been so difficult for you when you're on that great run. You're playing such good football, and it it's been stop start so much through 2020. So in the end, you've not been able to perhaps play as many games up to this point as as you would have hoped. Yeah, it's annoying. We're just being saying before, we're nearly in December now and we've played six games. It's like it's unheard of. Um, but hopefully, like I said, we can just get this run of games going now and get back up the league table. I suppose the hope's got to be that now that you've had as, as, as frustrating as that was having so many players getting coronavirus and so on, that now that maybe you're out of the other side of that and players are, are, are fitter and you can get going, maybe maybe the testing that Knotts have done will now benefit the club and you can actually have a have a run of games and start to build up some momentum. Yeah, it's it's good what the club have been doing with with the regular testing because, you know, if, you, if you've got a little cold, you instantly think, oh, I could have COVID. Um, and sometimes when you get the test, the result comes back negative. It kind of puts that at the back of your mind. So you can just get on with it normally. Um, you can be comfortable around the lads because, like, when, when we've got the few cases, like, I think you could tell a bit. There was a few coughs going around. There was a few sniffles. Um, people weren't feeling too good, and you know it. It kind of, it kind of kills the, the mood if you get what I mean a bit. But obviously, that's behind us now, and I think most of the lads have had it. So we just we want to try and move on from that now. It's really interesting that because I think that some people from the outside look at knots and say, well, because you're testing, you end up with more positive results and then you end up with games being called off but I suppose given that security for you that knowledge for you that the club is doing regular testing how, how much good does that do you mentally? Yeah it, it's great for us because like I said you know it puts it at the back of your mind if you if you maybe have got a cough or you have got a little bit of a cold you know it's just just something that's that's normal um, but when when the test comes back negative you, you can put it at the back of your mind and then in amongst that, you've been picking up knocks and niggles and you, you've been back training, I think, back for the, for the past few days. How, how You must just be desperate to get going and have this run of games up, up to Christmas now. Yeah, I think it's been maybe four or five weeks now I haven't played a game. 
Um, and like I said, I just I just want to get the run of games going again, get get uh, started again. Good man, Carl. Thanks very much. I'll leave you there. Cheers. Good man. Hi, Carl. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. You? Good stuff. Yeah, good. Thank you. Um, yeah, sorry if there's a couple of questions that um, David's already asked, but uh, first of all, congratulations on the new contract. How did the um, talks all come about? Uh, thank you. Um, it was just the gaff I'd mentioned was a, a few weeks ago that the, the club were going to going to put a new contract together and obviously send it over to my agent. Um, and I've just waiting to be. I've been waiting to hear off him about it. And then obviously when when he rang us, it was it was a no brainer to sign. It sounds like it was something that was sorted out relatively quickly then. Yeah, it, it was probably the space of a week it was sorted, yeah. Fantastic. And, and why was it that you wanted to sign this extension so much? Um, just to show that I'm, I'm committed to the club. I uh, want to get the club back into the Football League. Um, and I just think the club's going in the right direction. It's a good club to be in at the minute. What What is it like to be in an... In, in among it at the moment, like you say, with the club with so much ambition of getting back into the football league, and what's Neil Ardley like to work under? Um, yeah, it's good. All the lads love it here. Um, it's a good group of lads to be around. We've all got the same ambition to get promoted, um, and that can that can really put us in good stead for the season. Um, and the gaffer's really good to work under. Um, he he knows what I want to play like, and I know how he wants me to play like. So we've got a good relationship like that. And and in terms of the relationship with the teammates as well, what's why is it so important to have that shared belief? And and it sounds like you guys have a real good camaraderie around, among the squad too. Yeah, it's it's a real good group. Um, like I said, all the lads want one thing, and that's promotion for the club. Um, you know, we're a big club to be in in non-league football, so we all just want to get back into the into the football league. And of course, it, as we mentioned, that has been a stop-start season so far. Only six games into Notts County's campaign. But what do you make of how it's um, how it's all started for the Magpies so far? Um, it's been up and down. Obviously, going to Dover first game of the season, where where we should have really won the game in in testing conditions, you know, on the pitch, not to come away with even a point there was really disappointing. Um, but I think we then won three on the bounce, and and that was good before obviously the, the COVID kicked in and had to have a break. And how's, um, how's training um, and your recovery from injury gone there during that time as well? Yeah, it's, it's gone good. Obviously, come back from having COVID, it was, it was just trying to get the lungs used to training again. Um, obviously, then I got the, the little cough tweak, but fine now, everything's feel 100%, yeah. That's great. And what was, what was, what, if you don't mind me asking, what was it like, that experience of of having of having COVID. Kind of um, it was it was very weird, you know. For like three or four days, I was quite bad. Just I developed a cough, and then the symptoms kind of kicked in within the days like coming, um, and then I kind of recovered and lost all smell and taste. So that was weird. Um, but yeah, it was just a strange strange situation. And and you're okay now, like no long term effects or anything like that at present. No, nah, I've just I can't really smell anything still, but I've got taste and everything back, but just no smell yet. That's good. And um, and like you say, with you pretty well at um, full fitness. How um how excited are you now for the for almost like the start of the season again for Notts County with with such an intense run of run of fixtures? How how much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, like I said, I, I can't wait to just get back to get the games going again obviously you know you want to be playing every week you don't want games to be called off because of Covid or or whatever it is um, we just want to get the, the run of games going so we can get the confidence back in the squad and, and just finally um, of course it's Halifax tomorrow night um, having a look at um, how they've done this season they, they look very difficult to break down I was just wondering what your thoughts on that and on that are and how, how you're looking to uh, to get behind them yeah, to be honest, I've I've not watched any Halifax. Uh, if I play, I just I come up what I come against, and I work it out then on the pitch. Um, obviously, we'll do we'll do shape the day before game and stuff like that. But it can change. It's just whatever happens in the game, you've got to adapt to it.